As global attention turns to the November 2020 U.S. election, the major question for Africa is whether it will have any fundamental change in the foreign policy for African countries and really what could be the possible impact on Africa's elections, especially with focus on Ghana with some few days to the December 7 polls. The United States is a global powerhouse. Its elections have impact on the rest of the world. Ghana's voting patterns for president have mirrored that of the U.S. in the past 24 years, some watchers agree. The ruling party, the NPP, is seen as a replica of the Republican Party in U.S., while the NDC is seen by many as friendlier to the Democratic Party. In 1992, a Democrat, Bill Clinton, won the presidency while Jerry John Rollins of the NDC sailed to victory in the first election under the Fourth Republic. Both presidents won a second term. The 2000 election, however, saw a change both in U.S. and Ghana. George Walker Bush Jr. of the Republicans took the oath of office as president while John Ejikon Kufo of the NPP was also sworn in in Ghana. Ghana's election was historic as it marked the first peaceful transfer of power from one democratic government to another. Here again, the two presidents run their full hall, two terms. Then the Democrats, led by Obama, returned to the White House in 2008 while the NDC won power in Ghana under John Mills, while the Democrats returned to power under the same leader, the NDC won a second term, but with a new leader, John Dramani Mahama, following the death of Mills. The next general election saw Donald Trump beat Senator Hillary Clinton of the Democrats. Coincidentally, Nana Ekufuado of the NPP also defeated John Dramani Mahama. Some election watchers, however, argue this is a fun fact. At least the evidential data supports it. However, I don't know that you can go beyond that, okay, to make any other scientific or predictive conclusions. But hey, if you want to go on that, history is there to, to kind of guide you. And sometimes um, I see this as trivia. Trivia in the sense that there are just certain fun facts, you know, that people are always interested in when it comes to politics. The NDC also believes this is just coincidental. We can do the analysis from 1992 and say that, okay, every four years, wherever there is, whenever there is a change in government in the States, there is a change in government in Ghana. But in actual fact, our elections is completely unrelated to that of the United States of America. If all things be equal and the trend is going to follow, then we are very hopeful that Joe Biden, after winning the elections in the United States of America, will transpose into the NDC winning the elections in Ghana. For the NPP, a win for any candidate in the U.S. has no effect on the Ghanaian election. It's coincidental, but if you look at the trend again, since 1992, you've not had an incumbent losing the elections before. So, you see, the dynamics doesn't just... So, anybody who would want to go that dynamics really just for the sake of... I hope the best man wins. Public opinion on this is varied. While the U.S. votes on November 3, Ghana goes to the polls on December 7. Nana Ikria Mensah Brampa, TV3.